Hello to all, welcome back. Today I'm with my PR159 and I'm going to play with him. And the other name is for NATO reporting name is the Petia class frigate. So it's a light frigate and it's an interesting ship. Uh, and I think I found it really fun to play. So that's why today I am going to explain some details about him and try to get some kills uh, with you. So, before the action starts, I want to give you some historical information about it. First introduced in 1962, and between 1962 and 1969, totally 54 ships are built and mainly used in the Soviet Navy, and also it's Soviets are sell the ship in the export market, mainly East packed countries. And the interesting thing is still, more than nearly 60 years, uh, still the ship is in service in the Vietnam Navy. Five of them are still uh, working and the two of them is in the Syrian Navy, but it's, mm, it's a bit uh, not clear about that they are on duty or not. Anyway, it shows it's a good platform with the modifications. It's showing that the ship still can work in the nowadays. And I like it. Why I like it? It is agile. It has a good power. And also firepower is good. Okay, let's try some shots. Somebody is here. These are just tryout shots, as I say, to see. They are going a bit front, and he is also, I think, making some maneuver to go back. Okay, let's go. So, let's pass to main armament. We have a AK-726 guns. This gun is also used in several uh, different kind of classes in Soviet Navy. In the game, we don't have. We have only this ship, and we have PR-35, but. I hope in the near future we will have another ships with using this gun. Gun is really good. It's an auto cannon and it's really really fast. It's firing 45 cannons in one minute. So that's why it's fast and this is the biggest advantage what we have on this ship. And it's an air cooled gun. Also this is the disadvantage. So firing is good but if you keep on fire then it's overheated and then the stuck and jumped the gun so you have to be careful about it and let's see and try the guns one shot second third fourth fifth and yep as you see one shot for a small ship is enough and i am not firing in the full speed and i am waiting a bit so i'm putting some lag between the fires to make the gun a bit cool down okay so as i said it's a really really fast and effective gun and the one more advantage also the turning speed of the turret is really fast normally in the Soviet Navy this is a biggest big problem because the guns are turned in a really slow speed so if you cannot if you didn't uh, orientate your ship in the right orientation then you will build that but with this ship this is not the problem because as you see very very fastly right to left left to right you can orientate the gun so it's an advantage okay let's see also turn to game a bit now we have only one kill and on my left side i have, I have some friends they are mainly destroyers on the right side there are other ships so i am in a safe position for this and the sound of the gun is also really really good this is also the reason why i start to play with this ship because when i am opened of the ship uh, when i hear this sound it's uh, demoralizing me because i know then it will be very close me to that because if you locked and if you're in a good position when and if you are releasing the shots probably you will uh, defeat all kind of ships and if you are the first one to starting the shooting up you have the really good and the big advantage ok 
Okay, let's check what we have. Left side, no ships. Maybe right side, I will find some guys. Yep, some clouds are here. Hiding clouds, let's say smoke clouds. I'm going inside a bit. Still checking. It seems we are back, but we will see. Maybe going to B point is more logical. Now A is there are lots of guys on the A. Let's check. Searching. Searching still. There are somebody on the left side, but behind the island. Therefore, it's it might have been better to go this side. Okay, still checking, checking. Yep, somebody's here. She's released, and I am opening the gun parallelly to make a circle of shots. And yes, as you see. A good hit to direct it to engine. I think it's not a really big ship. Maybe a, a small, mid-size ship. Ongoing. Fletcher is firing. It's also a good destroyer. And I think firing somebody behind the island. Okay, turn. And check what we have. Yep, I see you. Fire. Again. Five. And yes, as you see, it's really, really, guns are accurate, fast. But you need some expertise about it because uh, it's really fast, but you need to position your ship and your angle and make the salvo. And putting some lag behind the shots is also beneficial. Okay, let's go. Check other guys. Left no. Some clouds there. Left. I am a bit cautious because the waters are shallow and the torpedo can easily shoot them down. Yep, somebody's here. Some shots from front side. I'm just, let's try our rockets and firing the salvo. They are going and rain of the rockets and yeah. <laughs> I, also, this is I think fun to using this kind of rules. Some guy is trying to escape. One shot and second one. Yep, gun. A small one boat also here. It. One more, one more, direct, and gun. So, a good one. I am checking for other small ones and parallel capturing B point. Ah, also, we have already captured the C, so it's going good for us. So, as you see, also the rockets can be an alternative in close distance, but. They are really good in the approximate 1000 meters. Uh, in the longer distances, they are not accurate, and also I didn't offer you to use them against the destroyer or other things. They are, in my opinion, more effective in smaller ships. Anyway, if you don't have any gun to throw away, so if you have a destroyer, then you can use them, but. Uh, it's not they are not the first option what I try to say they are the second option for me for big ships but small ships also you can use them also it's fun to use them okay turning I think nobody's here and I am really close to spawn point so it's not really logical to go very deep there ship is 
not small and with a torpedo fire they can take me uh, we have one guy here I am indirectly going them as you see the distance is reducing really fast that's why I am scrolling a bit down for the adjusting my shots manually and yeah as you see a hit good one okay so till this time generally I talk about always the advantages of the ship also but there is some disadvantages what we have the first thing is I want to talk about this AK-726 gun there is no armor around them so it means there is only 5mm sheet metal thing it's very thin and with the machine gun fire for example very very easily they can broken down and these two guns points first turret in the front and the second turret is the back is the only gun for us for this ship and in the beginning if you don't have the modifications there is no rocket launcher in the ship so then you are totally in a really bad situation and if you lose the guns probably they will sink down your ship so this is the first disadvantage is the arm armor of this gun and maybe it's not a disadvantage but I can say there is no AA gun on this ship the only guns are the turrets no machine guns like AAs so that's why you need to be really careful while applying because uh, people are always focused on the ships and they forget about uh, planes or think about like other destroyers the AA guns can make automatically some shots or take them but this is not happening on this ship also, also this is the advantage for if you are playing with the uh, planes in the naval battles so if you see a PR-59 on the map then you this can be the first target for you because if you can directly take them out and if so you have to be really careful about the planes also when you are playing as you see now one is coming and you need to take them out with your own uh, talent not automatic way but I can say I can I have to say uh, the gun is really fast so it's a good uh, hunter for the planes also so this is the, I think the second disadvantage not to having AA guns on the ship now I am turning and to trying to go to last point that we didn't capture a and it's a, till this time it's a good game we use our gun we use we have used our gun we have used our let's say uh, rockets and we have used our gun to hunting aircraft we fire some things on the big more destroyers to show you the less of the capability and going and the small information I have to give for guns long range shot uh, the maximum distance 7.5 thousand meters another aircraft but I think he's directly going down and the torpedo drone so the maximum distance to shooting range was 7.5 thousand meters so more than these values your guns are shots are not effective so you need to be careful about it for my experience the best distance is between 3000 and 4000 meters for this ship if you position your ship around these distances you are really really dangerous for the opponents and now still on going to cap A and and maybe it's better to talk about some speed the maximum speed of the ship is 559 km per hour is not really fast I can say because for example in the Russian Navy there are some other destroyers can easily reach 65 or so I think uh, nearly 80 km per hour the Moscow uh, class is going but one unique and interesting thing what we have in this ship is it has three motors one is a diesel engine and the two of them is gas turbine engine in other words it's a jet engine so this is the first time the Russian Navy is using gas turbines in a ship and mainly the gas turbines are not working uh, in the normal uh, navigation mode 
only the diesel engine is working, then in the, this kind of alarming situation or this kind of war situation or the speeds in the flank head, the gas turbines are active. Why this is working like that? Because of saving the fuel. Because otherwise, the total range of the ship will be reduced too much, and the value is I think nearly 5.6 thousand uh, nautical miles for total range of this ship. So it's also another info. And maybe I want to talk in the last in the some info about the torpedoes. We have set 40 torpedo. They are really relatively small torpedoes. Small, but in other words, it's the 400 millimeter diameter and 4.5 millimeter length, and it's the port first torpedo in the Russian Navy have an active sonar and a self-guiding system. So it's also a unique technology. So the game finished. In the end, I can say I like to play this ship. It's really fun, and I think it's worth to spare some time to develop it. And thank you for watching, and see you next time in my new videos. Bye bye.